In this video, we will learn about the cover test. And the cover test is used, is performed to rule out the heterotropias. And, and you know that the tropia are the deviation of the eye in which one or the both eyes get disaligned. And this deviation, this tropia deviation, we can easily see in the patient's eye. There are four different types of the tropia or heterotropia. The first one is called the isotropia. Isotropia means the deviation of the eye towards the nose. And exotropia means the deviation of the eye away from the nose in the lateral side. And hypotropia means the downward deviation of the eye. And in hypertropia, the upward elevated deviation of the eye. And now we will perform the cover test. For this procedure, we need a well illuminated room, vertical and horizontal prism bars, a held hand occluder, any fixation target, and yes, the pen and the paper for recordings. Two adjustable chairs, one for the patient and one for the clinician. And the level of both the chairs should be the same. We have a patient of strabismus and now we will perform the cover test. This test can be performed at distance and the near. And if the visual acuity of the patient is 6 by 9, then you can fixate the target in 6 by 12. So performing the cover test, we have to occlude the fixating eye of the patient. And the fixating eye of the patient is the normal eye, which is totally aligned. Now, we will occlude the fixating eye. As you can see, the patient's left eye is fixating eye. Now you can observe the movement in the deviating eye. Now I will repeat the procedure. I will occlude the fixating eye and then you have to observe the movement in the deviating eye. Now I am occluding the fixating eye. And you can see the eye is moving from inward towards the outward. And this condition is called the isotropia. Now again I will occlude the fixating eye and I will observe the movement in the deviating eye. So I am gonna occlude the fixating eye. As you can see the eye is moving from inward towards the outward. So if the eye is moving outward the deviation would be isotropia. So in cover test if the eye is moving outward this condition is called isotropia and if the eye is moving inward this condition is called exotropia and if in cover test the eye is moving upward this condition is called hypotropia and if the eye is moving downward this condition is called hypertropia.